Ryan Crowley had a time of possession in that second quarter of 10:41 compared to compared to 4:19 for Toronto, and he's down by six. Drop pass is part of Crowley's mm. problem early on. You know, just to get back to that punting difference, Slack will watch as Dan Crowley gets a crack at it. Glenn Harper out punted no Cooper Fontaine in the first half. His average is about eight yards better. Let's see what happens without him. Josh Ronick. And O'Shea was one of the Argos there along with Martavius Houston. A lot of people will say, you know, it's just the punter. It's not a big deal. Get someone else to punt it. But it is a big deal when you're talking about that much real estate in the difference. Glenn Harper punted seven times for 343 yards in the first half, a 49-yard average, and No. Prefontaine five times for 208, his average around 41. And that's a lot of real estate over that amount of punts. 56 yards, as a matter of fact, for the Ottawa Rangers. Early movement there. Crowley goes to the far side, almost nabbed by Orlando Steinauer, number 21. Nine hour, obviously not happy. Offside, Ottawa, number 85, penalties declined, third down. Well, the news on Glenn Harper is not good. He says he tore his right calf muscle in the last punt of the half. Now, in training camp, he tore a left quad as well, so he's had a little bit of a rough start to this season. He's definitely gone for this game, but it's too early at this point to say whether this will be the only one or if this is going to continue into the next few weeks. Well, you can see the here in the headlights look from Dave Miller Johnston. See if he makes his first punt of the game. Not bad. It's a pretty good one. Sailed it. Down to the chair of Livingston. Two spring tackle almost brings him down, but he stopped at about the 35. So a 53 yarder to get things underway. Not bad at all for the new kicker for the Renegades. 